Okay, let's look at another title marquee effect that we can do. So let's go into the title tool application using the tools menu. We'll click on that and choose marquee. Now that we have the marquee up, we want to make sure that we're in the expert animation mode. And then we can go to our text tool and type the text we want, making sure that we have that layer and scene layer down there. And we will type edited by Elam or you can insert your name. We'll collect on that, select, on, select that and hit Command A and we can resize that to whatever size we want. Now that we're happy with that we want to get the edit tool and we want to put these, this bounding box around it like so. Position it where we want and we're going to go to this base setting so we can color the base and let's click on the extrude enable the surface and if we want we can enable lighting for that too but I'm just going to put a base on it with black and now I can click on the effect and I can go to this extrude depth and you can see that it extrudes. So the next thing that we can do is we can go to the rotate tool and we could rotate the entire thing if we wanted but let's go and rotate each individual glyph so let's hit the option key and F. we have the option held down let's click on what we want and then we can hit the command key and the A key to select all. Now that we have them all we can select this arrow, this four-way arrow, and we can move that to the location that we want it to be rotated. Now that we have that, let's turn on our animate mode. <clears throat> we want this to basically um, twirl out, so let's grab this timeline indicator and move it to the two seconds. We want it to twirl out to this point so we can read it. So we can go here and grab it, click on it, and bring it back to what we want it to read. That looks great. So that's cool. I like how, how that works. But let's actually go back to the beginning. And there's a couple things that we could do. If we go back into this surface, we could take this surface and we could take it down to zero percent and then what we could do is go to our point where it twirls in or even before that as it's twirling and we could crank this back up so now we have it twirling and actually changing colors. So that's pretty cool. So you can see how we can do some more exciting uh, looks to the properties of anything that we've edit it in here and we can go into all of these settings here and these properties and see what we've keyframed by clicking on whatever parameter so in this case let's actually do one more thing if you go to this it will, this little grid thing and double click on it it shows a grid and then a box and that expands everything so you can take a closer look so I want to deselect everything and when it's purple it's selected so I'm going to drag that down, drag the next one down, drag the next one down, drag the next one down. Cool, that's pretty cool. And then after we have that staggered how we want, we can hit our tool set, go back to our expert animation, we can go back and then we can hit the play button again. And 
that's a way that we could make more subtle animation changes and affect the way that our work comes on the screen. So now we can go and quit the marquee tool and save it out for our project. So we'll save to a bin. We'll name it. Edited by. Hit OK. And it will render that out. And then we can place it into our project. Now that we're back into the project, we can save it out and change any of these settings that we want. I'm going to hit save and it will create the media from the TIFF sequence and it will place it in to our bin. So you can open that up and there it is. Okay, now that we have that in here, we can edit that into our project. So I'll select the in and out points that I want. And go to this channel, this track here. I'll overwrite that in. Just wait until my ship gets up, right? This is really the kind of dump that I want to spend my time in, ain't it? 